Honestly, you look through a lot of these charging systems, they're the exact same. This is a unique offering that offers the type of charging I think everybody needs. Welcome back to Turn Down For What. We resume this week at the ACT Expo. Today we are spotlighting our interview with ChemPower, a newer entry into the US EV market with an established presence in Europe. Like and subscribe for more content. Let's dive on in. Welcome back to another episode of Turn Down For What. We are here with Kim Power, and they're going to kind of go over some of the details on their charging units and what they offer to everybody. Thank you for coming today. Yeah, thanks. What do you offer our listeners? I think it's today what, what Kim Power does. We do basically a systematic approach, so we are not so interested how, we, how much power we have for one vehicle. We are looking at how to charge fleet of vehicles because we actually believe in the future where there will be a lot of vehicles coming into the same sites, the charging has to be handled, many vehicles, and this is basically the main differentiator from our side, from the Absolutely. main players. So, and also, uh, we are located in East Tennessee. You have a brand new facility just over the mountain in North Carolina. Can you tell everybody what you have there? Because I've heard it's a beautiful location. We will try to be making it that way in the next few months ourselves. Definitely, welcome there. Oh, uh, can't wait. So we are producing uh, now charters. We delivered the first charters in the December last year. Went to Canada first, but we have they made delivery now <laughs> to the US as well. Uh, but it's uh, the idea was the first that addressed the Navy Fund, like a it, especially the Navy Fund qualified projects to be, because you need to have the Buy American rules. Yes. And this is basically it. But we are transferring all the product units that we can produce all our products actually there. Okay. We have now 154,000 square feet facility. Wow. Okay. And this basically, uh, we do our power units, we do our charging satellites, not this one yet, but we will <laughs> discuss this more. But uh, charging units, so Great. So now, and let's before we go into your Nevi charger, let's talk about this piece. So, uh, at this event, we've been looking around. This is the first megawatt charging system that I have seen, and this is going to be more for your industrial base use, your trucks, your class six through eight, your tugs. You know, we've talked before about the electrification of our waterways. What can you tell us about this unit? So the first version of our dispenser for the megawatt charging is a 1.2 megawatt. They will be bigger actually when we talk about tubs. That's, <laughs> that's three megawatt plus, yeah. Three, three megawatt. But it's what the standard actually does. It's a new charging standard called megawatt charging, MCS. And this goes to several megawatts. The wow. original purpose was really that you can drive a truck like four hours, have a half an hour break, you fill in the battery, you continue another four hours, charge it. So that's basically where the megawatt charging comes from, the, the need. Yeah, so you're probably looking at about a 45 minute charge rate on some of these large vehicles yeah. that get you that four to 600 mile range exactly. in some. Exactly. And that is just exceptional. So we'll go ahead and walk over here to your other charging unit that, that you offer. And this is a 300 kilowatt. And what can you tell us about your charging? Obviously, you got the, the, the maintenance and the and the uh, cord maintenance systems is very unique for the industry. Uh, what sets these apart in comparison and to what else is the out idea there? Also, that we have the smallest footprint to the place where the cars park. We had a actually convenience store owner in Finland saying that's the paying area. He doesn't want to occupy that with the big boxes. So that's, and then that one is over there is then bringing the power. So you centralize the power and you then distribute the power to different uh, dispensers. We call them satellites. And this is basic the idea. You can have two times 300 kilowatt in a single unit. And the idea is that you can have a car in any way you want. So it goes pretty far. So you can have like a four or five meter distance. The connection could be any side of the car. And uh, I think what we did a little bit differently, we thought about, we had one electric car when we started, the 10 guys, and I joined. <laughs> uh, we started looking, ah, how do we know this? So let's get everybody company car EV. So people actually understand what they're doing. When you're making products for yourself, then you actually get the point. Yep. So several of the features were done from the perspective of the EV driver. Well, and even at that, so, when you take this and compare it to, to any other system, it's a lot lighter, yeah. and that reach to be able to do that, when you start looking at 
an older generation, it's it's a little harder to take that weight. But yeah. this feels very good. I think this would be very usable mm -hmm. in that case. And again, it's a unique design to be able to use a spring system like that. Yeah. So. So where are you going from here? What's happening next year as we wrap up? Where do you see your company still developing? Are you, obviously the NEVI program is I getting ready uh, to hit in the usual also states. the high power range. Yes. What I see is actually more power and more blocks. That's basically it. We see actually the sites growing. We see when the electric vehicles get more popular, there will not be two chargers, there will be actually 16 chargers on the site okay. for personal cars as well. Because people want to stop in the same places you have the where you have the services, you have the power. I think Tesla had a good idea on these large sites. They, yep. Those are popular, and that's actually a good way to do it. These alone charters. There was a study in Europe. They looked at if you have a single charter with high power, which has only two outputs, and then you have a site which has eight charters. Every charter at the place with eight charters gets more charters than this alone charter because people trust it. They want yep. to go into a place where you know that there is no, no lines and things, so that's exactly so. Fantastic. Well, so this... I, I believe in the large sites and concentrations and... And you have the facility to make them. You yeah, have, exactly. uh, And you have, obviously, the innovation to come up with unique products that's True. not on the market today because providing no time you start looking at what info you get you can actually get the charger displays with your mobile phone everywhere and you have the charging curves especially enthusiastic you will get the full curves hours kilowatts mm. uh, we want to info have the information that's uh, that's the values in the info <laughs> uh, it's really the info and guys like you doing actually the podcast you will be able to actually tell about the info. That's well, I mean, obviously, my truck can fit this as well, yeah. so can my yeah, partner. Yeah. So it's, it's definitely, we all have lightnings, Josh, yeah. uh, myself, and uh, Chris. So uh, we can't wait to come over to North Carolina and try it. And definitely. I thank you very much yeah. for your time. This has been the ACT Expo here at Kim Power. Thanks for tuning in to Turn Down for What. Tune in tomorrow for another special episode as Chris visits Kim Power's brand new EV charging manufacturing facility for their grand opening. Turn on notifications for more episodes like this one. See you then.